all right david harry here and this video is going to be my first outdoor example of my new botched uh, medium mods and by botched what i mean is this is the uh, an example of this modification or this hack that i've made to the internal microphone of the medium mod um, so if anyone's seen my previous video where i was showing what it looked like this is now a proper example of it outdoors right so what it is i basically stuck the barrel off another microphone on the front of the so-called shotgun mic of the the media mod and i've kind of it, it doesn't look so pretty at the moment because i i'm still yet to um, get all the fine details sorted on the manufacturing process of this modification and then what i do i put a capsule from a road video micro inside the little barrel on the front that i've put on and then i wire that to a short cable which pops out the back of the shotgun mic for the media mod and then that plugs into the uh, the, the the input for the microphone on the back of the media mod okay so do us a favor give us a sec let me just get across this road here and i'll do my little cardio turn pattern thing on the other side of the road while there's a lot of busy traffic okay so i've come to a really busy part of this junction here by the main roads so what i'm going to start doing shortly is when the traffic goes by i'm just going to turn the camera around and as i'm turning it around hopefully i drop off we start picking the traffic up more and then i'll turn it back around hopefully we hear the reverse so as i'm talking now i'm just going to point it into the road and what's going to happen there's going to be some traffic go by there so as we can hear and then as i turn it around i should have been picked up more again in fact give us a second i'll wait for a real busy clump of traffic okay so more busier traffic about to come and i've got a little bit closer to the road as well so here's the same test again so i'm turning it around as you can see there i'm into a very busy main road and it's very very noisy so let's see if we can pick me up at all and what i'm gonna do is turn it round and point back to myself now hopefully we're hearing me louder than the traffic now and as i turn it round, hopefully we didn't hear me so much anyway into the park okay so i'm now into the park and uh, it is a bit quieter in here so it's going to be easier to hear the dialogue quality and stuff the thing is i am still flanked by two big junctions or two big kind of like you know dual carriageways here so we still will hear the traffic in the background but hopefully it's kind of dropped to a rumble now now the thing with this particular test if you feel that it, it feels rushed um, and i'm a little bit ill prepared for it you'd be absolutely right um, and that's for three main reasons one i'm losing a ton of light and i've been dying to get out and do this video so i'm trying to hurry up before i lose all the light um, two in the uk at the moment we've got like pretty nasty storm weather going on and so right now what i've done i've managed to get out in a in a bit of a lull so what what you're going to hear is possibly still some wind distortion because of, i only have uh, a standard kind of like foam filter which once again i've adapted <laughs> i basically took the filter off a short shotgun mic chopped it all up into a bit of a shape that matches the gopro or the media mods back and then i just got i just stitched the back of it up it looks a bit mad but hopefully it's working uh, yet yeah, so and then the third reason uh, why i've got to rush this as well is because i'm uh, i'm about to meet up with another youtuber in an hour and a half time we're going to go for a bevy and see if there's uh, some hookups we can do together for some videos it's really cool yeah so if it does feel rushed and whatnot and if i do look like i'm very ill prepared that is the case you might be able to hear a motorcycle or motorbike at the moment it's only because it's a front facing pattern and it is picking up the traffic behind that wall just there anyways what i'm gonna do let me just get further into the park i'll stand still and do some other testing all right so i'm a bit further into the park now and it's even quieter here so hopefully this is going to give us an even better idea about the quality of this audio now what i'll do i'll kind of stand still for a bit here two reasons one i'm knackered and unfit and the second reason is i just think it'll allow me to concentrate a bit easier and be less distracting as i'm testing this microphone now what i'm going to do and i don't know if it's going to work just yet because unfortunately because it because it is like you know so late i was quick getting out i would not tested this but what it is i've brought out a road video micro here 
and hold on let me just try this i brought a, a little weird cabling setup as well which will allow me to connect both the micro and my botched mic at the same time to the camera which will then allow me to record both of them one to the left one to the right i will then center both of them in post and then what i'll do i'll bounce between them so this should allow us to hear a direct comparison between my hacked mic for the media mod which has the capsule from a road video micro in it compared to a proper road video micro so let me just wire this up and see where to get with it okay so hopefully this is working now now let me just throw this foam filter onto the road video micro Hold on. and the reason for putting the foam filter on is because i've only i only have a foam filter on my hacked version as well so i just want to do like for like here now what i'm going to do is as i'm talking here i will alternate between both of the microphones and i will clearly mark up on the screen the uh, road video micro or hacked microphone something like that so what we're going to hear now is hopefully any differences between them now don't forget the whole point of me doing this particular hack with this particular capsule from the road video micro is because it is my favorite of all these small little short pencil cardioid condenser microphones so anytime i go out with the small camera this is the mic that i choose to use um, unless i'm going out like doing some kind of mad stuff where I, I need a you know a bigger mic and stuff like that in which instance i wouldn't use a tiny camera anyway but like i say it is my favorite of all these small mics actually this and the comica vm10 mark ii as well which is another microphone that i will be doing a modification with for this particular setup also okay so so far right now what we should have heard is any kind of unique differences whether they be big or small between the two of them and hopefully my botched version sounds as close to a micro as i can get only because it is the sound that i want to emulate for an inbuilt microphone for a small camera like this uh, well like this media mod set up here let me just see if i'm losing light too much i don't know which way the sun is anyways just bear with me with this it is going to start getting darker now what i'm going to do is a cardioid test with both for them so i'm now at 90 degrees to one side of me and as i'm doing this i will be clearly once again cutting between one microphone and back over to the other and hopefully we should have heard me drop off a little bit here now i'm going to turn around there and face it 180 degrees away from me once again I will be cutting and alternating between both of the microphones and hopefully what we should hear with both of them is that I have dropped off quite considerably now because I'm directly behind the microphones now what I'm going to do I'm going to turn it to the other 90 degree axis there and then again you know we should be hearing that it's like less uh, less level than what it is from the front and then what i will do is turn it back to the front again so back around to the front now a quick handling test here so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to the internal mic right now now i'm roughly hand very roughly handling the handle on my gopro here now we're definitely going to be hearing this and i'll explain why in a second now i'm going to switch over to uh, the road video micro and do the same thing so there's my handling test for the micro and we should be getting a good gauge of what's going on there now what we probably should have distinctively heard there is that my modification is much worse and that's only because there is there's no like acoustic isolation involved in this build so there's no suspension of the capsule or the mic or anything as there is using the lara shock mount on the road video micro now what i'm going to do i'm going to point the microphone away from me and i will just do a bit of silence and again alternate between the two microphones okay so back to just my hacked microphone now and as we can see there's the weird little contraption that i've just had on the top hopefully this has worked this thing here like i say it was untested only because i've had to run out and as we can see now i'm losing light so one of the reasons why this is feeling very rushed and i'm very ill prepared now what i'm going to do is give ourselves an idea of the internal microphones here with this so-called shotgun mic on the rode media mod
Okay, so what it is, when I did the recording earlier on, it didn't actually record, so I've come back out to the park later on, just so I'm in like the same acoustic environment, and I'm being illuminated by the torch on my phone. Okay, so this is the internal microphone. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn it around like that, so it's 90 degrees off axis. That's it now, 180 degrees off axis. There's the other 90 degree axis there. Now I'm back around to the front and I've actually got this set to the front facing mic as far as the shotgun mic is supposedly concerned. Anyways, back on with the test. Okay, so as we could clearly see, I was losing a ton of light and now what I've had to do is put a super duper gain on the GoPro in order to just like, you know, do me little run out at the end of this video. Okay, so the whole point of this video is to demonstrate to people that GoPro could have made this microphone system on the media mod a lot better than what it is because in my genuine honest opinion this so-called shotgun microphone which one isn't a shotgun microphone two isn't even a cardioid microphone but three is a real bad example of a vlogging microphone which is what it is designed for that particular mic is terrible and i'm just trying to prove to people that gopro could easily have made this media mod with a decent front face and cardioid pickup patterned microphone built into it they definitely had the space to do it there's no doubt about that they could have just remodified the little cavity at the side and on that base uh, sorry on that point as well there'll be a video pop up right now which will show you a video that i just did which will sh well actually shows you everything you would need to know about the inside of that cavity and the mic design and all that stuff as well so from that you can clearly see that if GoPro would have wanted to have done a proper job on this, they most certainly could have done. And what it is, the dialogue that I'm doing right now with my hacked version will actually prove that it's doable. The only difference is, is that I've got a small little extension onto the front. And the reason for that is, is because I needed some form of porting just behind the capsule in order for the cardioid capsule to do its job properly. But if GoPro had have just done a slight mod of their own, to their so-called, you know, I'm gonna stop doing this anyway, to, to this rubbish you might have to put on the media mod. If they'd have just done the right thing, they could have, they could have just had an amazing system. And I dare say, and like I mentioned in my previous video as well, why didn't they just get in touch with Rode and ask Rode to make the mic for them and the whole mic system? Ugh, it's unbelievable. Anyways, I'm David Harry. I hope you've liked this video. And if you have, please give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and all that stuff. And if you've got any interest in my videos to do with the, uh, the Hero 8, the Media Mod, then go to www.gopro9.com which will initially take you to my playlist for all my stuff to do with all this caper and then eventually to a small website hosting all of my GoPro videos. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.